Haynes faced Georgia College and lost one to zero. Today or tonight, we have Laura, uh, senior Laura Blanco. Um, how do you think your team fought on the field today? I since the first game that we played, they've been fighting so hard. I mm -hmm. I'm proud of them since the very beginning. So today they have been fighting as hard as they can, and I'm so proud of them. Perfect. Um, so what uh, you've been here for four years now, and you've gone through three coaches. What's the difference you've seen with Coach Carey? Actually, I've been here two years, two and years. in those two years, <laughs> yeah, I've had three different coaches. And with Coach Carey, I just feel like she knew how to approach the team mm -hmm. and how to make us get to the level that we can get. So that's why we can get the best out of ourselves. Yeah. Well, she's setting records, and we're just rolling with it. Is there anything you'd like to say back to your parents back at home? Uh, <laughs> you, can say it, you can say it in Spanish. <laughs> um, no, I'm just thankful because they have supported me since the very beginning, and they're, like, watching every game that they can. And after every game, they, like, text me, congratulate me. Even if we lose, they're mm -hmm. always there. So that helped me, like, to keep going, keep fighting hard. And I'm just happy for having the opportunity to be here. Great support, support system. We love that. Well, thank you, and thank have a great you. rest of the night. You too. Good night. And we have Coach Carey. Coach Carey, how do you think your team fought tonight? Uh, they battled for 90 minutes. Uh, these girls, they do not quit. Uh, every game that we played, they played 90 minutes, or if the game has been longer than 90 minutes, they fight every single minute of every match, and I'm really proud of them for that. Well, believe it or not, I don't think you know this, but this is the lowest scoring game that we've had against Georgia College, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, when you look back on your career at GSW, how do you think this will like lay down the foundation for you? I think uh, in order to win games, you can't concede goals. And so the first thing that kind of we wanted to do when I stepped into the job is, is to stop that. And I think the girls have really bought into that and worked hard, and we've done that. So I think looking back, setting that kind of defensive foundation is going to help us then be able to go – uh, and do more attacking things in the future, but we have to have that foundation first. Speaking of attacking in the future, Wednesday you play the number one team in the nation. Um, what do you want to see from your team on the training aspect, on the practice field, leading up to the game? Yeah, when you play the number one team in the country, you have to, uh, you can't slip. Uh, you can't slip for, for one minute. They'll capitalize on that. So we really need to uh, limit their chances, but also make sure that we're not making mistakes that give them chances. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, when we have the ball, take care of it and do the little things right, especially on set pieces, making sure we're switched on defensively to, to all the things they might throw at us. Perfect. Well, is there anybody back at home that you would like to say hi to? <laughs> hi to my mom. I know she's <laughs> probably watching, uh, my dad and all my family. And uh, thank you to everyone who supported me through this. Uh, I appreciate the athletic department, all the support that they've given me, but also everyone back home. Thank you. Well, good luck on your game Wednesday, and thank you so much, Coach Carey. Thank you.